appreciate Mitch Love joining us. And, yeah, Madison Walton making an appearance here. Hockey fights cancer, the kids skate going on, and she's going to take part in that. And she wanted to be part of the show, Tark, so who are we to say no? Absolutely. Love having Maddie along. <laughs> so I did a little quick research. Maddie is the youngest person to ever appear on Monumental Sports Network. So we could, you got that going for you, yep. so that's a good thing. Yep. We got a few more things to chat about here in the meantime. How about one of the young guns for the Capitals in Connor McMichael? We mentioned <laughs> earlier in the show that he's gotten to 10 goals, but in doing so, right. not only is he tied with Alex Ovechkin for the team lead, but he and Alexei Protus may be two of the biggest reasons why this team is where it is right now offensively. And if you continue to get that kind of production through the course of the year, the Capitals are going to be a tough team to beat. You know, we've talked so much this season about the players that were brought in from other clubs. But what really stands out to me is the improvement of the guys who are already here. I mean, Connor McMichael has not taken a small step. The past few years, he's gotten better every year, but they were like, you know, small steps. He's just taken a leap this year. Same with uh, Alexi Protus. Same deal. Um, you could probably even extend that to Rasmus Sandin and Marty Faravari. These are guys who were young veterans who we thought would make you know improvement this year. We didn't know they were going to take these huge leaps. All four of them have really taken big steps. And I, I you know we talk about the new guys. Yes, they're all playing well. But man, that homegrown talent, you got to have some of that because a lot of those guys aren't on those big tickets. You got to have that in a cap world. Rasmus Sandin, another guy, and you know we think of him as being a veteran as far as his time with the Maple Leafs and all of that. But he's still one of those young guys, too, and goals with two straight now with the yeah. game going back to the game against Pittsburgh <laughs> and the game <laughs> against Toronto. I told you it was going to be a different kind of show today. <laughs> uh, but with Sandine to be able to do it uh, not once but twice, he hadn't had a goal since February until Friday night, and now he's got goals in two in a row going into a game that I know always is circled on his calendar, and that's against the Maple Leafs. Yeah, no doubt about it. I, again, Rasmus, to me, looks like he's taken a big step. You know, he, he got that big contract extension. I'm sure he felt a lot of pressure. It was a weird start to the year for him, right? He didn't get his visa in time and, you know, joined training camp midway through. And I felt like those first few games he was finding his legs and kind of finding his rhythm. Um, he's also a guy who's been asked to take on a different role, right? I mean, when he first came here from Toronto, he was going to be a guy who might quarterback the power play. You've got all those points in those first few games here with the Capitals. Oh, he's going to be a, you know, 40, 50 point defenseman well they go out and get Jacob Chikrin this year and now all of a sudden you know he finds himself on the third pair and he's being asked to kill penalties and he leads the team in block shots yeah I mean you know he is really to me blossoming into a two-way defenseman where whereas when he first came out maybe people thought he was going to be an offensive defenseman so again you know the fact that he has the maturity to understand you know, he had to find his fit, right? He had to maybe make some adjustments to what kind of player he thought he was going to be at this level, and he's done it, and he's been outstanding. You know, I remember when we got into television, they said if you're going to work with kids or animals, it was always going to be a little bit of a different paint job, but that's kind of what we're doing here today. <laughs> as, Love it. Yeah, all things are good here. So